Remember your summer forever by turning your precious memories into a beautiful, full-color photo book. Let's take a look at how to create a book using iPhoto. The first thing to do is to select the photos you want to use. You can create an album for the book or simply select an event. Let's choose the trip to Hawaii for this book. Once the event or album is selected, simply click the book button. Next, we can choose what type of book we want to create. There are three types of books, a hardcover, a softcover, and a wirebound softcover. We'll choose the hardcover to remember the summer of 2008. Next, we can choose one of the many Apple design themes for our book. Don't worry though, you can always switch themes if you change your mind. Then, we'll click the Choose button and iPhoto creates a blank book for us to work with. You can see it in the preview window, complete with gray targets where the photos will go. The first photo we'll add is a picture of the whole family on the beach for the cover. Just above the book preview is the thumbnail strip, where all the photos are. Once we find the one we want, we'll just drag it to the gray box on the cover to place it. Sometimes, after you place a photo, you'll want to get closer to the faces. To do that, just click on the photo, and a little pop-up appears. The slider in this pop-up lets you adjust the zoom by dragging. And you can adjust the framing by dragging the picture right where you want it. Now for the title of the book. You can see that iPhoto automatically added filler text for the title. There will also be filler text on the inside flap description and other places in the book. It's easy to change the filler text to your own by simply clicking on it and then typing in whatever you want. iPhoto will even spell check your writing so that all your titles look perfect. Now that the front cover is done, it's time to move on. Navigating to different pages in the book just takes a click of the buttons in the lower right corner. The right arrow flips the pages forward, and the left arrow flips them back. iPhoto can even auto-flow your pictures into the book. When you click this button, iPhoto will automatically add all the pictures in the thumbnail strip, which makes creating a book much faster. Once the photos are in, you can easily change the pictures around by dragging them, such as this photo of the family under the palm trees, which will move to the bigger frame. You can also switch the layout with the Page Layout button. We'll change the right page from a 1-up to a 2-up, so we can add a photo of Zachary next to Isabella. If you're wondering what the little check marks in the thumbnail strip are, that's iPhoto letting you know that a photo is already in the book. You can use photos as many times as you like, but it's also convenient to know when a photo hasn't been used yet, so you can be sure to put it in. And trying out different themes is easy. Just click on the Theme button to choose a new one to see what it will look like with your very own pictures. The last thing to do is to review the book and then click the Buy Book button. You can even have your book sent anywhere you want, making giving the gift of summer memories easier than ever.